Here you are, sir, a glass of red wine to accompany your unboxing. Hey, Saber fans, this is Gray Paladin, and I have a review of the Elegant Weapons Padawan Mark IV. My butler, Jeeves, assisted me in unboxing this Saber, and if you'd like to see that, uh, that intro, please go ahead and check it out right up here. Let's get on with the dimensions. So, from the top of the slant of the emitter, to the base of the pommel. This has a length of 11 and 3 quarter inches. Uh, as far as the diameter goes, if you really take a look at it, um, the sides are, are flat and the top and bottom are rounded. So as far as the sides go, that's 1.2 inches and the top and lower rounded portions are 1.4 inches. It has a blade depth of 2 0.7 inches and a resonance chamber in the pommel of 1.7 inches. This does house an LGT Eco Smooth Swing core. Fortunately, like most um, LGT equipped sabers, uh, you have the screws that secure the uh, core in place on either side of the switch and the recharge port. Fortunately, uh, this, this hilt from Elegant Weapons does not have those screws there, which is uh, very nice. You don't feel them, you don't see them, uh, and I like that very much. It does have one retention screw on the bottom to hold uh, that core in place, and probably also to push the switch section up. Uh, let's start at the emitter and get our close up here. So, looking at the, uh, the emitter, it's uh, slanted. Uh, this does take a one inch blade-ish. <laughs> uh, I ordered this without a blade, um, and then when I tried to put in just a standard one inch blade, it was uh, extremely tight, so I ended up having to uh, sand and smooth out the inside of that emitter just so a, a standard blade would fit more easily. Um, so after the slant emitter, we have these windows, three on each side, which, which is a total of six, uh, that go along with the slant of uh, the top of the emitter. There is one elongated window on the top portion, and then we have several holes, circular uh, round holes that go around um, the base. It looks like a choke, but it's not, uh, but around the base of the emitter. Uh, this. There are two retention screws here for the blade. I only have one in, um, and so this will be a shine through right there. Um, when you get um, to the neck, you do have a choke point here, which feels extremely well. Um, this saber does come, and this company comes endorsed by uh, Michelle C. Smith, who is you know a, a well a, a well renowned um, uh, combat and lightsaber. Um, spin uh, person and acrobatist and dancer um, and, and she highly recommended the saber because of the balance and how how customizable the weight is uh, when you get into the switch section uh, I do like that it's flat on the sides and round on the top it just it does feel really nice in the hand when you grip around there having that flat portion on the uh, uh, your forefingers feels really nice uh, if you notice it kind of uh, flares into the body where you've got these uh, four ringed grips and that also feels really nice especially for a two-handed grip and then it flares back out when you get into the pommel section and the pommel is just right here at the base and the rest is part of the body so this saber this hilt uh, does feel really good <clears throat> now um, it's extremely light uh, this only weighs 11 ounces um, but you can order these brass inserts that you can uh, ins put into the pommel and that will allow you to um, balance out or differentiate the weight of the saber. Uh, I am a 32 inch blade um, holder so 
When I put it in, honestly, I don't need anything in the pommel. It already feels good, and I'll show you the balance point later. Um, actually, when the blade is in, the balance point's about right here uh, for the 32-inch blade. Um, so it's, it's, it's almost perfect. It, it feels really good. So if, if you're into flow and spinning and all that, this is going to be a good hilt for that. It's one piece. Uh, nothing separates it comes apart other than the pommel, so you don't have to worry about um, uh, that coming loose or having a problem for you when you're um, using this saber. There are no screws or jagged edges on here whatsoever. Um, the only part that may scratch you is right here at the base of the, uh, of the emitter. Uh, the windows themselves are okay, but um, this portion here where the round holes are, uh, that could maybe scratch you on the sides. But that's not necessarily where you'd be holding the saber. You'd be at the choke point, and it's ideal to hold it and spin it right there at that choke. Um, great for one-handed work, um, two-handed as well because of the way the body um, flares at the pommel and the switch section. So it's, 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 it's designed to uh, really sit well in the hands and to, uh, to spin and utilize. Uh, overall, I do like this Sabre a lot, and because it's all black anodized, that gives you options to weather it or make other customizations to it if you'd like. Uh, so overall, pretty, pretty, pretty solid Sabre. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a demo blade here and uh, fire this up. Again, it is the standard or the base Eco Smooth Swing Core from LGT. Most people are already familiar with that. But it has nine sound fonts. The windows in the middle are very nice touch. And like I said before, I did not put this retention screw in, so I have another window right there. Sometimes uh, too many windows is too much or overkill, but in this case, I, I think it works out very well and it looks good. Uh, one tap to do your blast reflection. And it's gonna be a flicker of the blade in this case because of the color that's chosen. Uh, one blink and release, that's going to be your lockup. Two blinks should change color. And that's going to be a slow uh, gradient effect. Just tap once uh, and then that will lock in the color that you want. And then here's where you might see the flash on clash sink in, because now that we have a non-silver or white color. And when you flash the saber, you get that as well. Same thing with the lockup. I believe three blinks will cycle through the colors quickly. And this is a nice option because it locks right into a color versus doing the gradient slow scroll. We'll stop at the green. And then four will power it off. You can change the volume uh, with one blink while the saber's off. Volume low. That's the low volume. I prefer, usually prefer low because it's a better quality of sound. It's not overtaxing the speaker. And then you have high and mute. After two blinks, Unstable. you can change the blade style. So unstable now, it's, on my naked eye, it's flickering very fast, very rapidly, but it looks like a slow blink um, because of the camera. Pulse. With the pulse, you have a, uh, it basically dims and glows um, pretty quickly, and uh, I like this effect a lot, it looks very nice. And then you'll have stable after that. I believe after three blinks, you can turn on music tracks, but they're always difficult to turn off. And then uh, and that's pretty much all of your options that you have uh, on the Sabre. Um, if you do four blinks, you can change fonts. Scavenger. This is Ray. Princess. 
And that's three blinks, my apologies, not four. And this is Paolo Ren. The high ground. Obi Wan Kenobi. This is Count Dooku. The Fallen. Jedi Fallen Order. Cal Kestis. This is Vader. The older board, after three blinks, used to do uh, a force effect or a quote from the uh, the font of the uh, or the voice of the font, uh, but they uh, took that away, and now in this particular case, three blinks gives you the instant color change. I just think that's funny. And I think that takes us back to where we started. Scavenger. Yep. Yeah, so uh, this Elegant Weapons uh, Padawan Mark IV, it's a very simple hilt, but it's so practical. It's very nice to wield and spin and flow. And uh, I believe Michelle, uh, Michelle Smith's endorsement is... Um, is fitting. It is a good saber, and we know that she is um, incredible at uh, doing all these spin tricks and things like that. So if she says this is a good saber to use, I, I trust her in that because she wouldn't spin around something that didn't feel good. Um, so this this is definitely uh, worth the money. Uh, it comes all the way from France, um, but uh, the company is really nice. Uh, the lead time isn't that long. I got it on pre-order, so it took me a couple weeks, but I think now that it's already in stock and going out, I'm sure you put it in an order, they probably ship it within the same week. Um, and as far as um, the aesthetics go, I think it's a nice design. Honestly, I think it's worth it to try to weather this or something so you can get more of the accent and the detail that's in the hilt itself. Um, because from afar, when it's all black, it's hard to see all the detail that's there. Um, but it is a really nice and elegant <laughs> weapon. So that is my review on the Padawan Mark IV. Thank you very much for watching, and may the Force be with you.